you know that James Harden said that he, he doesn't want to play? Possibility development is basically about, you know, having imagination to imagine pathways and or futures and then working on skills that help you get there. The design of the mentoring program is a group mentoring thing. Most mentoring programs are one-on-one -on -one, and most mentoring programs focus on the relational, the relationship between the mentee and the mentor and that's really important. I realized that there was this deficit in our middle school where you know we're trying to prepare these students for everything that's coming next. You know we kind of house them here for sometimes six, seven, eight, ten years and we can look over them and make sure that they're safe and make sure that they're going where they need to go, but what happens next? So last year it was just our seventh grade group, our current eighth graders, um, and what we saw was the students were into it. They loved it. They connected with the grad students almost immediately. As we saw that it was working so well with our seventh graders, um, I sat down with Andy and with Mike and we tried to figure out, well, how can we expand this? Every week we have research meetings for two hours with our, with our grad students and we equip them with you know, skills, with knowledge, with techniques. We do problems of practice. They bring stuff that they've done. We talk about it. The primary place in which we learn about the impact of what happens is from the research memos of the, of the graduate students. So they write about what they see in a given day. So what ends up playing out is that the social emotional learning teaching capacity of mentors improve trauma-informed practice lenses get adopted and that work gets done and they and they look at where they see growth where there wasn't growth where there was resistance where there might not be and different kinds of things so i think have a person to talk with them and who they can trust is very important for their development you can see like they really need someone to talk to, someone that being consistent, who always they can expect to appear at a certain point of time. This mentoring program actually helped me to refine my research interest. So now what I want to do is to explore further in the diverse social interactions, social relationships in uh, adolescent and how those relationships gonna promote or influence the healthier pattern of adolescent development. Our students know that the mentors are here as a non-judgmental support for them, that when they come into school they have this, this person that's going to acknowledge their strengths. How I really start to quantify success here is just what I see. It's through these relationships and these, these kids and these graduate students are building relationships for this year, yes, but many of them are building relationships that are going to have an impact beyond this year or next year. It's going to have an impact for their whole lives, and I just I love seeing that.